Gotta be it, right? That's all you got? Yeah. I mean, I guess if you want some in-flight snacks. So you're done. That's everything? No, no. I need to what, go. What else do you have in your back? Hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome back. As you can tell, we are getting ready to head into our trip to Disney World. We could not be more excited. It has been almost a year since we packed carry-ons for a trip. So we're a little rusty and things might have changed a little bit, but we're going to show you guys what we are going to pack in our carry-ons for the kids because there's a lot that you need to keep kids entertained for four hours on the flight. kids a couple of years ago we went to the Nike outlet actually and found these backpacks for crazy cheap and they have kind of turned into the solid carry-on that they take everywhere they go. Didn't couple we of them surprise them with these at Christmas for the Hawaii trip. I'm trying to remember. Oh I think you're right. I think it was. Anyways, so we've, we've been using, using these for like two and a half years almost. Yeah. They and they up. have put some pins on them. This one is Washington. This one it is helicopter Paradise tour. Helicopter from our helicopter Hawaii. tour in Hawaii. But this one I thought was cool. This was an Incredicoaster from Oh yeah this is Disney Incredicoaster trip. from Disney. They put keychains on them from different places. Well this one's Virginia. So they kind of collect well, some different things Kind of show the places they've been to. This must be Cruz, you guys. Oh, yep, he's got his collection. So this is Bon Air. This is Virginia. Jackson Hole. There's a couple more down here. So these backpacks have been to a lot of places. And guys, I gotta tell you, they have been so excited counting down to the carry-on packing vlog. They're like, is it the carry-on day yet? Is it the carry-on day yet? They love packing their bags, grabbing their goodies, stuffing it full of stuff. And so that's probably one of their favorite parts. I think they maybe get it for me. One of my favorite things is packing my carry-on, all the electronic equipment, the vlog gear. I love my backpack and all of my little goodies that keep me entertained yes. and for fun. So I think the kids, same way. We're gonna go through and kind of show mom's version of what she would pack in the carry-on for the kids, because she's thinking of stuff, snacks and sanitizers, things that maybe the kids won't think of. They're gonna let the kids take a turn showing you what they've added to their bag, priority to them to make sure they've got for the trip. So that's gonna come up right after we show you what mom's gonna put in there first. We always take snacks on the trip because kids are bored, they tend to get hungry. Don't I know we all? When I'm bored, <laughs> I get hungry. All. Even if I just had a full meal. We are packing snacks, but this time we are packing a few extra. In fact, we've even been notified by the airline to pack some additional snacks because they aren't offering as many. We're gonna up our snack game and if there's one thing us Binghams are good at, Snacking. it gets snacks. <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed some Ziplocs and put the kids' names on them. Whenever we're done telling you guys about everything that we have here, I'm gonna let the kids come and make their very own snack bag. It has their names on it so no one gets confused whose is whose and they can choose what they wanna bring. We went with things like the Cliff Bar and the Z Bar and of course snacks and treats. Pringles are kind of fun. Our kids love Pringles. Something else that we try and do is we try and get individually packaged items so that way the kids can just put like one little bag of goldfish instead of yeah. Trying to divide out big handfuls of goldfish, that's just a disaster waiting to happen. A big giant spill, goldfish all over the aisles of the plane. It's been our experience that it is better to minimize the potential spill. So we have like individual baggies of cheese, that's individual baggies of fruit snacks, goldfish, Oreos, animal crackers. That's perfect for Animal Kingdom, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, all those things, little mini cliff bars, things that are going to be easy to handhold and you don't have to worry about a big spill. And I'm thinking whatever we don't end up taking on the plane, I'll probably pack in a suitcase and we'll take them on our trip. I always stick in $5 in everyone's carry on. So if they like one treat, they can buy buy their own treat and feel like a big kid and pay with their own money. That's something we've always done. And we know that a lot of places are going cashless now, so cash might not be an option. We may not actually give them $5 to take and pay. A lot of these places are taking cards only. It's more like a token that they have $5 to spend to go buy something of their own. A lot of places aren't really accepting cash right now, but we still like to give them that five so they feel like they can contribute and buy something of their own when they get to the airport. They've always loved it, so we're gonna continue to do that. Snacks, check. Bags, check. Let's get into activities. got the fun little games that the kids like to play. Phase 10, Monopoly deal. Hazy really likes this, I found it. So we like to take things that can keep them busy. Hazy specifically loves these water wow books. If you guys have young toddlers, they're perfect because it doesn't really make a mess. You just get them wet with water and they air dry and then you can color them again. Okay, but really quick, if you're not familiar with these, they are like almost magic. This just has water in the pen and the water kind of goes through this brush just a little bit, but you rub it against this and it full on colors it like a painting. I remember the first time yes. I saw it, I was like, how is it doing that? They are and then so when it dries, cool. it resets so you can do it again. Very good for kids. Very good. We've had them since our kids were teeny tiny babies. Another thing we've had since our kids were teeny tiny babies are these wipe off books. They're really awesome. I just get some dry erase markers and just keep in kids' backpacks. But also, if you have little, little kids, these dry erase markers are not washable. Crayola actually makes a dry erase version. And I think at one point we've probably had those, but we don't have them right now. I'm gonna take a few of these for Hazy. She's fairly responsible when it comes to markers. Put those in her bag because she likes to do those kind of activities. She still really enjoys it. She really enjoys 
coloring in little art projects. As you can see, she's taped one to our kitchen table right here yeah. that she worked on today. So she's always coloring something. She's always doing something. <laughs> Just another thing here. These color wonders are awesome because if you have kids that can't handle the expo markers or they're going to be messy, those just offer a clear marker and you just rub them on a paper kind of like the water rub books and it's like the picture comes to life and it's super fun. In fact, today Hazy goes, Mom, where's my Peppa Pig books? She remembers these and loves them, so guess what? They're going in her carry-on. If I'm being totally honest with you guys, the older boys do not like to do the coloring. They don't like to do the water wild books. I will they'll say this. play these yes, for they'll, sure. They'll do Uno. They love Cover Your Assets. They love these different games, especially if it has anything to do with Monopoly. They love that. But it doesn't last long before they're diving into the good stuff. Oh, the electronic... Kids getting switches was probably one of the greatest things to happen in their lives because they love these things. My mom gave them to them for Christmas a couple of years ago. All of our kids have them and they love them. They also have Kindles that they can bring. All of our kids have Kindles. I feel like this was also a Huawei purchase. We got these. This was a thing. Huawei purchase. Super cheap, great deal on Amazon. On Amazon. Honestly, these like are the kids 50 ones. Bucks or something. They were so cheap. Yeah, so all the little kids got the kids version of the Kindle. These have been really great because you can put games on them and load them before, before you lose internet service up in the sky. You can even download like Netflix episodes Disney Plus shows. Yes. There's different things so they could watch. And I know a lot of in-flight entertainment options are available now. They've got the TVs in the back of the headrest. So there's things yeah. you can do there. There's something about holding your own tablet, watching your own yes. show. And Kids love that. changing your mind and what you want to do. With the switches, with the Kindles, you don't want a bunch of audio blaring throughout the airplane because not everybody wants to hear what you're listening to. <laughs> these are some really great headphones. My mom actually gave the kids these for Christmas. We've bought several different kinds, but these ones are actually really nice ones. Kids all have headphones that they take in their bag. It's been a huge lifesaver. These are nice because they're over the ear, so it kind of cancels out the noise around of the plane. So it minimizes the distractions to the kids. Also, they can hear nice and clear what they're playing or watching or listening to. So they all have their own sets of headphones. So it keeps them kind of in their own little world there. Yes, and if you're a mom, you <laughs> want to take your iPad and AirPod Pros because they're noise canceling. <laughs> We've done this forever, but I always take some wipes and I wipe down the tray tables, even though I'm pretty sure planes are pretty clean nowadays. I always take wipes. Also attached to every kid's carry-on, I got them a new fun Disney hand sanitizer or sanitizer. And I'm also going to be taking these brand new little water bottles we bought for them. We'll give them a try on the trip and see how they do. We're gonna take them through the airport. Of course, you have to show up with them empty. We'll fill them up inside the airport. You guys, like mom said, we've been doing the sanitizers and wipes since the beginning of time. Like since before it was like a cool thing to do. Yeah. Mom's always had a hand sanitizer attached to their backpacks and brought these wipes but I do have to say and this is a credit to Delta in particular because that's who we fly with probably all airlines are doing the same thing but I do know that when we used to go in and we used to wipe down those tray tables it was an ugly sight what you would wipe Black. up but the last time we flew was out to Maddie's graduation in California. We ran a wipe over that thing and nothing. We I was used. like, there's gotta be something. And just kept scrubbing. wiping nothing. Okay. So they're doing a great job on top of the sanitation. Previously, don't know how good a job they're doing. <laughs> Anyways, now though, okay. we don't really wipe up as much and sanitizer is just like a common thing. It's everywhere now. Yes. But before, we always want, I had one in my fanny pack. Kids always had one attached to their backpack. Just always sanitizing. It's just kind of, mom's a little bit of a so We've always been that way anyway. It's kind of like the trendy thing to do. Now that I've showed you guys everything, let's get the kids up here and fill up their snack bags and then have the kids load up their backpacks and show you guys what they're packing. Mom, can I get another bag of cheese? Absolutely. But there's also baby goldfish. I like a baby. I got these ones because they're babies because they're so baby. cute. I thought you liked the baby's hazy so much. I want all kinds of the goldfish. <laughs> Guys, this is half the fun, packing the carry-on, the snack bag. This is half the fun of the trip. We're going to Disney World, but we could not be more excited about our flight. Red. No. Oh, wow, that worked out that perfect. Worked out Literally, perfect. everybody got exactly the one they wanted. What about water bottles? Hazy Girl, clearly, I'm believing this is yours. Rexy, oh, you got that one? Okay. Could we do this one for you, buddy? Dude, hold up. Are you zipping up? Are you done? You yeah, got your, done. You're fully loaded? Like, yeah. you're carrying. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. This is what Kruber Dude has gotten his carry on bag. So, snack bag to decimate all snack bags. My snacking yes. homie. Good job. Got some. What are these headphones? headphones? Oh, nice. No, it's an underwear case. It's underwear case. <laughs> I love it. Headphones over your headphones. Perfect. Yes. Okay, what else you got? I have my Pro Controller. Pro Controller. Classic. Absolute must. Obviously. Oh, the, the Switch. Nintendo Switch. You're going to be playing some games. Then, I have my Power Bank. Oh, Power Bank for extra juice. Now, that 
that is a smart hack. We didn't actually talk about that in mom's part of things because these longer flights, you know, this is like a four, four and a half hour flight. Some of these longer flights, you could go through an entire battery on one of your devices. So having an extra source of power, super important. I know a lot of planes have the USBs inside of like the armrest now, but you don't always know that for sure. It's good to have a power bank, bring a little extra juice. Smart move, Kirby Doo. I'm loving what you're packing here. And also if you want, go ahead and grab like one of these little card games or something. You guys will be sitting together so you can play some fun card games. Hazy, are you done too? Okay, I would like to see what Hazy has packed into her carry-on. What do you have, Hazy, bro? I have my snack. Snack bag? Okay, if you don't mind, I'm gonna unpack it a little bit so we can show everybody what you have. So a snack bag. I have my Pringles. Pringles, that's a must. You gotta have those Pringles. I have my little my water bag. Wait, those are water wow cards? Yeah. I love water wow. I have water wow book. Water wow book. Got that. Hazy girl, yours is always these. the fullest. What I love about Hazel, she's gotten much I bigger have these. now. Okay, these are great for the dry erase. I love those. So Hazel has had the same bag since we went to Hawaii and it used to be so big it would pull her over backwards because she loads it up so full. And she was so small relative to the bag. But now she's gotten bigger. It actually looks like a small bag for her, but she's got it very full. Okay, so this is also, I found it. Boy, mom knew exactly which things you would load in your bag. These are all the things she said you would load. And then dry erase. Okay, I love it. And then frozen water bottle, right? And yeah. which sanitizer do you have? I have Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. I love it. I love it. Okay, but we need to get you your switch and some headphones if you want it. Here's your switch. Here's Hazy's pink switch and then if you want we can throw some headphones in there so you can listen to shows or something. I just barely got yours. They're on your bed. Raga, will you go grab her headphones? I think they might be on her dresser actually. Wait, wait, what is this for? For like a snack in the airport if you guys wanted to get something from the airport. Oh yeah, we can pay for it. This is for Maddie. Let's oh. go on our trip guys. Go. <laughs> you ready? All right, well, we'll see you there. Wait, what? Rexy Noodle, you're up next. What is in your car and what are you packing on the plane to Disney World Entertainment? Four and a half hours going down. What you got, Rexy Noodle? <laughs> First, I got a game. Okay, that's a, a fun game. one. Cover your assets. We love that one. And you guys usually all sit in a row together. Now, the way that Delta's booking flights is they're not putting anybody in the middle seats. So you guys are actually a window and an aisle. But if you want, all three of you are allowed because we're in the same family to be together. So you boys can be together and play that game all you want. And then I have my pro controller. Pro controller. Gotta have that. Gotta have the pro controller. Kind of fun to set up like a a little gaming station out there on your little tray table. Speaking of gaming, how about some legit gaming headphones? Okay, Nintendo Switch style, blue and red. I love it, dude. I love these headphones. And I got a battery pack. Power bank, nice, very smart. Gotta have that. Then Gotta have that Nintendo Switch. Do you have a case for that, bro? We should probably put that in the case because that just sitting in this bag may be dangy. Snacks, gotta have the snacks, snack bag, fully locked and loaded. I got a feeling you like uh, animal crackers. Oh, and you got your water bottle right here. Which one did you go with? Oh, kind of green with a little foresty action on it. Okay, I love it. That your That's your whole bag? You got everything? And then some oh, hand sanitizer, of course. Where do we say sanitizer? Like, where did that come from? I think everybody says sanitizer because I've seen it on social media too. Oh, really? I yeah. thought that literally one of our kids like invented that because they couldn't say hand well, sanitizer. I mean, of course it started with us. Yeah, obviously. Hey, Rexy, I love it, dude. Sorry to make you unpack that just to show me, but go ahead and load it back up. Your carry-on checked off, baby. Last but certainly not least, Raga has put a lot of time, attention, energy into what he's packing in his carry-on. He's very excited to share with us all. Raga, what do you got in the carry-on, bro? Show okay. us what you got. We'll start with this front pocket. So okay. first, I got Mario Uno. All right, love it. Very hyper organized, this kid. Headphones. Headphones, okay, love it. USB to USB C cable. Okay, very techy, love it. Switch dock. Switch dock. And switch charger. Okay, wow. Why do I feel like all of a sudden your brothers are forgetting some things? Like I didn't see one of them pull out a charging cable for their switches. <laughs> okay, what else you got? Pringles, Pringles. Pro controller. Pro controller, Minecraft edition. Switch no joke. Light. Switch light. Switch. Wait, why do you have two switches? You don't need two switches. Well, what if you want to play it or something? Wow, okay. Thank you for carrying it for me. Snacks. Snacks, gotta have the snacks. Battery pack. Oh, Power and bank, Kindle. classic, Kindle. Okay, what else you got in there? Some of this stuff's crazy heavy. Let me get it. Ah, oh, here's one. Wait, escape. You're putting that, okay, that's in your carry-on. Yeah. I guess that's cool. I've seen people take skateboards. Gotta be it, right? That's all you got? Yeah. Wait, an easy bake oven. I mean, I guess if you want some in-flight snacks, you want a fresh baked snack, that makes sense. Okay, so you're done. That's everything? No, no, I need to what, what else do you have in your backpack? Yeah. Right, guy, what the heck are you going to do with a paddle? Why do you have or uh. two? <laughs> There is no way you're getting this on the plane. Now, what do you even need oars for? Oh, for the kayak. I wish you could see me in this terrifying He's gonna drop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe funniest thing ever. Well, right guy, your carry-on has got quite the haul. I'm very impressed with all that you could fit into that little Nike backpack. You're set for an adventure. Now get it all back Can in I there. <laughs> Wait, you had mom in your carry-on? <laughs> so very quickly, very briefly, I'm gonna break down for you what is in my carry-on because I know this only really is of interest to a niche part of this audience, but the people who do care, I think probably care a lot just like I do. So I'm gonna show you guys what goes into the TIHWB vlog carry-on camera bag. Check it out. <laughs> Thank you.
So very quickly, each time we go and we travel and we're going somewhere that we're going to document and share with you guys, there's a lot of camera gear that goes into that. Trying to think of what we're going to be doing on the vacation before I kind of pick and choose the different accessories that we bring. So for Disney World, it's actually a very specific set of things that you actually can bring into the park. For example, you cannot have an extendable selfie stick of any kind. I mean, if it even extends like one extension, you cannot bring that into the park. So you've got to bring stuff that does not extend. I've got this as a handle that I can bring into the park. I've got this little mini tripod that I can bring into the park. And that's about it. Normally I'd have a lot more extendable poles. You guys know I've got my gigantic 270 pole that I like to bring. That is not coming with me. I always like to bring the drone. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to fly it on Disney property. I'm hoping maybe around the hotel I can. I always like to bring the drone. Always going to be rocking the GoPro. I always bring at least the one GoPro, whatever the latest one is. This is the Hero 9 Black that I've got. And I've always got to bring, especially we're going to be hitting up roller coasters, rides, other epic stuff that you can only capture from the 360 Max. So the GoPro Max is going to get us some of the greatest roller coaster footage imaginable. So I've got that in here. Then guys, it's just a bunch of battery chargers, cables, plugs, all kinds of different things that can keep all of the batteries at full juice so that we can just document the heck out of this. I've got backup hard drives kind of all over the place. I've got one here, another one attached to the computer, another one in the front of the bag. I've learned to bring backups on top of backups on top of backups in case anything happens. I've got backup SD cards in here. I've got all the batteries in here. Vlog camera batteries, GoPro batteries, 360 Max batteries. We've got all the cables that we could need to charge everything on the go. In here, a random collection of GoPro accessories that I put in here depending on what I want to mount things to. And then I have run into the situation a number of times where they just simply will not allow you to handhold any kind of camera, whether it be on a ride, down a water slide, whatever it might be. And so this has come in handy and saved us so many times. I don't go anywhere without it. It's a wrist strap because almost any place that doesn't let you handhold a camera will allow me to wear this and wear it on my hand. It actually Velcros around my thumb, my palm, and then the camera just sits up on top. So I've been able to get some great footage that way when they've said no to everything else. I usually say yes to this because it's physically attached to my body. I've also loved having these because you just never know how many outlets, USBs you're going to have, plug and power all of your goodies. And so this just plugs into one plug, turns into six more plugs and four USB outlets. So these have been great to pack with us. It has a kind of an easy access pocket across the top here. So I usually put the 360 there because that one's fun. If you want to just quickly grab like a fun shot out the side of the airplane window as you're flying away, you can get that rotating 360 look, that little bubble effect that makes it look like the camera actually goes outside the plane. I keep that right on top. And in this little pocket right here, I make sure I've got my editing headphones. These are just smaller and easy to take on the go. Battery pack for my phone. They probably die pretty regularly as we were doing Insta stories and using the Disney World app. And in here, the laptop goes in here, iPad in here, extra charging cables here. Like I said, another hard drive right here, power brick for the laptop, a full editing station right here. So guys, this is the all-in-one solution. The vlog bag on the go, that is dad's carry-on right there. I've always got fanny pack that I'm able to take on the go because this is what will actually go into the park with me into Disney World. So this is gonna have the GoPro, the Max, a couple extra batteries, phone, things like that, all in this little satchel that makes it very easy to take with me. Everywhere I go, I can usually take it with me on rides and I've got everything I need to keep vlogging. Lock loaded, ready to go. We got brand new batteries, fully charged. We got all the cameras we need. We got the laptop, we got the hard drive, we got backups for everything. To ensure that we document this epic vacation from every angle so that we can share it with you guys, it can live on in our minds and on YouTube forever. transmitting to the resistance. We got carry-ons packed. Kids are geeking out. They've got snacks, games, activities, coloring books. So close we can taste it. I just packed myself. So we are <gasps> definitely close. So I packed kind of the order I go in. Fun, electronics, goodies, vlogging. Okay, yeah, that. Those things first. And then I eventually get around to clothes because I'm like, if I had to wear the same outfit the entire week, I'd, I think I'm probably going to throw you a bone here and probably go upstairs and pull out most of the stuff I no, think you'll wear. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. Yeah. No, you don't have to. I actually have never ever packed Brandon. We have four kids that I need to pack and myself. <laughs> and so you guys, a lot of people have asked. You are a big boy. Maddie is packing herself, but we are packing like her snack bags, one of the things that she doesn't yeah, have access to here. Yeah, here to do it. She texted us today and asked if we had like traveling deodorant and dry shampoo. So there are some things that we're bringing for her, but she's yeah. taking care of herself, packing at college. We're all going to fly out together on Thursday morning. Yes. Because so. we cannot wait, but we have something huge to take care of before we leave. Uh, I mean, would you dare say it's bigger than the vacation? I feel like it is because this is literally the end Life of an era. Changing. Completely. 
completely for our Rai guy. He's getting his braces off tomorrow, you guys. Completely done with braces, getting permanent retainers put in behind his teeth. He's going to be braceless in Disney World, braceless for the first time. It's gonna feel so good to him. I'm it's so gonna excited. be amazing. You guys, come back for that. What an amazing thing to do right before leaving out of town. All day today, I was like, do you have your bands in? Do you have your bands in? Today, mom looked at the clock and she goes, dude, you are less than 24 hours away from never having to hear me say that again. Very exciting, but you guys, make sure you come back. I will be taking Riley to get his braces off tomorrow. It's gonna be a pretty big deal. It's going to be incredible to see that before and after. Can't wait to see that first mm -hmm. smile that he flashes brace free. And I then you guys, so. you're headed off to Orlando for nine days of Disney magic. Don't miss it. Come back, we love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Wait, what is this for? For like a snack in the airport, if you guys want to get something from the airport. And we can pay for it. We're on a trip, guys. Well, we'll see you there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know, it's like a burp is not going, it's so gross. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm recording this whole thing. <laughs> We're gonna love this later.